Speaking of, car companies across the world are racing to add electric vehicles to their fleets. Well, as it turns out, the same is true for go-kart tracks. JT Street shows us how some 21st century innovations are helping one company bring indoor kart racing to San Antonio on Street's Corner. Inside what used to be a baby's R Us, K1 Speed's Mike McGuire does some babysitting of his own. Hey, we need to get these two. This is ridiculous. I think they're doing it on purpose. We do have the ability to lessen the, uh, the speed a little bit just in case somebody gets a little crazy out there. A longtime San Antonio go-kart operator, Mike made the switch from gas carts to electrics after realizing they gave operators an edge. It took a while to see it. I, I, I'm not going to say that I had a crystal ball, but you know, the, the heat and, and, and the gas fumes and all that just made the whole experience a lot less pleasurable. Now Mike runs K1 speed tracks all over the country. And this is our 17th location. With Dallas coming on in about three months, we're making a national comment out here uh, for the future of, of the go-kart racing. It's a future I had to experience for myself. After one last pep talk from Mike. Try not to hit anybody. Okay. And try to stay away from the barriers. Okay. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> Took that one a little wide. After a few moments on the track, it was clear that while the go-karts may have changed, the racers had not. Oh, you pop! When you get people out there, and then you, even though we give them a full briefing, they still... They just don't get it. But the racers that do know that you don't bump them, you beat them. And thanks to the computerized lap tracker, everyone else knew it too. Woo! That indoor go-karting is fast. <laughs> I think I need to take a seat. Ah, right here. I knew all that Mario Kart was good for something. If you've got the turtle shells to be on Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.